Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Ali Shalma here and welcome back to more RC video reviews. Today in this video, yes, I don't know why it took very long for Tyro 89, the FPV Tukpi uh, quadcopter to arrive in my hands. This is an FPV toothpick, FPV racing quadcopter that is capable of taking 4S battery for high speed FPV freestyling on FPV racing. The thing that you're gonna love about Ishin Tyro 89 is that it is a kit a kit that you are going to build with love and passion. Why I love kits is because when you buy a kit and you build it, you know your quadcopter, your drone from inside out. So later if you crash it, you know what to do, how to do and how to repair. Let's take out the components from this little box, Ishin Tyro 89, look at the components. Let's begin the build because it's been a while since I flew a nice FPV, nice and fast FPV racing toothpick. Alright, let me show you what's inside the box of Ishin Tyro 89, the FPV toothpick. This is your frame, you have zip ties, little USB connector basically just to extend L-shaped USB from the USB port of the flight controller. We have screws, more screws, we have Cadex Turbo EOS V2 1200 TV line FPV wide angle FPV camera more screws nuts and bolts we have a capacitor an XT30 connector a connector for your receiver and a connector for ESC board and the flight controller board and this is the main board right here okay the specs are right here I'll put the specs on the screen very nice neat little board then we have two motors well, not just two, there are two more. Basically, they put in different bags. So, bam, there you go. We have four motors right there. This is the tiny VTX video transmitter. Check out the specs on the screen. We have canopy for your camera system and, uh, you know, VTX. Also, uh, allow you to do 45 degree angle. We have propellers set. We have a speed controller, ESC board. The the connectors for motors are already already soldered so you just have to connect uh, plug the motors in it however and there is no soldering required for you to mo uh, to connect the motors and then we have a velcro strap to strap your battery now the thing is that there's no soldering required it's plug and play that's what they say including your receiver so if your receiver has three cables you can always do s bus but if you want to use this capacitor and s bus then First thing on SBUS here have these tiny ones right under my thumb. If you see, two of these you have to bridge from middle to left. You have to bridge in order to turn the SBUS on. And only then your SBUS receiver will work, otherwise not. Now that is really a tiny solder for a beginner to do. Even I will have trouble doing that tiny solder. I don't have that kind of small tip, soldering tip. And obviously, uh, if you want, and obviously, if you want to use capacitor, you will have to solder the capacitor on this ESC board. All right, that was the unboxing. Now let's build this baby. Now to build a quadcopter, obviously, the very first step is to install the motors. And now these motors have to, uh, you know, spin clockwise and counterclockwise. Should you want to spin them? in reverse direction that normally the front motors uh, the front right is spinning counterclockwise this is clockwise uh, and then the rear motors follow that if you want to do it separately like this one goes clockwise front motor and this one goes anti-clockwise and the rear motors follow that then you will have to reverse the motors in beta flight settings remember to do that otherwise your quadcopter will flip or go full throttle upon arming and that's dangerous definitely so uh, that you can decide later how to spin these motors in different directions obviously you can do it by uh, using the by using the BL heli suite software you can easily reverse the motors uh, spinning direction all right the motors have installed now the next thing you need to do obviously you need to connect your board 
ESC board uh, to the motors and make sure to install the board. Make sure to keep the arrow pointing forward, okay, forward of the quadcopter. But before installation, if you want to install the capacitor, do it. If you don't, do remember to uh, solder the XT30 connectors. Now, if you want to install the capacitor, Remember, the longer pin is the positive pin and the white side pin is the negative pin, okay? So on this ESC board right here is a positive, so I will insert the long pin there and the uh, shorter or negative side pin to the negative side. Now, uh, depending on how you're installing this thing, uh, basically you can always install the capacitor w uh, in a way that it comes from the bottom and stays there. And you can, you can solder the positive and negative of the XT60 on the top. So it all depends how, it, how you want to do it. Okay, the capacitor installed. This is a critical step. You have to be very careful. Plus to plus, minus to minus. Don't make mistakes there. Now the board will sit here, and uh, installing the capacitor down, you can always you know configure it like push it up and down. So the board will sit here, and after that, the other board, the flight controller board. Remember the. Uh, arrow has to be pointed to the forward side and basically this will fit inside the canopy you know the provided canopy is a little tricky but it will do the job but well, you can do the job easily don't forget to install the uh, video transmitter and connect the camera which is also very very easy so everything is marked clearly on the board read carefully before connecting everything okay and the connectors should fit properly and do remember the pins inside are very very uh, you know thin and fragile so do not force the connectors in make sure you're connecting them in the right direction wrong direction they will not go in so do not force them in only one side will connect properly and then you can be gentle on that okay if you uh, force it and bend a pin you're gonna regret it trust me all right this is this then I believe this is the camera and I'm just gonna install the camera here installs really nice and easy and then we have a video transmitter which goes here before installing everything read again this one says VTX now the last thing is a uh, receiver so I'm just gonna plug it here and I have also soldered a bridge right here it was really difficult to solder this bridge and for beginners they are definitely going to have trouble soldering the bridge right here I believe the bridge is soldered right I cannot see it properly I'm getting old but with the camera zoom in I can actually see that the bridge is soldered all right this was the installation after that you have to tuck in the video transmitter and install it inside the canopy that the antenna comes out from here okay and you have to install the camera inside as well properly now which way camera is actually looking is straight you will find out uh, if you have uh, put it wrong obviously it will be easier to uh, reinstall the camera uh, if you're looking at the image upside down uh, you can always you you can always leave this canopy uninstalled do not install the screws because if the camera is upside down you will need to remove everything uh, you know easy to remove canopy and then put the camera right way and get the image right way so let me install this and show you how it went all right tyro 89 is ready the build was really easy it was super easy to build this except that little uh, jumper except that little bridge soldering for SBUS everything is really very very easy so the quad is ready I'm just going to stick one double sided tape because I want to keep my VTX antenna sticking up like this so it doesn't go into the propellers okay and uh, my receiver now I have a problem I have one very mic I have micro receivers but they're not giving me good range so you know I, I hate to uh, hear my Tyrannis X90 keeps saying low RSSI signal critical something like that so this receiver has given me very nice uh, range and stuff so what I'm gonna do is 
plug it here it's an SBUS receiver and somehow you know put it under the ESC board under the ESC board there's still a space I can somehow put it under the ESC board or I'm just gonna stick it somewhere on one of the arms under one of the arms now it's time to power it on and uh, configure with the beta flight for which you have to add this USB uh, extender L shaped so you can connect the USB uh, to your flight controller and run the beta flight and BL Heli suite to configure. Let's do it. All right, in order to configure, first off, I need to spin the motors in the right direction. And uh, for that, I will run BL Heli suite and after that, beta flight. And obviously, you have to configure a uh, um, model on your radio. So I have my radio here. Let me show you how I'm configuring the new model. Welcome back, Ali Shan Mem. Fly it like you stole it. Have fun. Yeah, baby, I will fly it like I stole it. So, first off, uh, let me zoom into the screen nicely. So, we'll create a new model and give it Tyro 89 name. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna use the D16. Uh, receiver so I leave my radio on ACCST D16 later I will bind it I also went ahead and set my mixer for throttle channel 1 aileron channel 2 elevator channel 3 rudder channel 4 channel 5 SC switch channel 6 SB switch and channel 7 SF these I will use to configure different flight modes and you know different modes on beta flight Next, on this screen, you can reverse the channel and set trims. After that, I will leave everything as it is, unless if I want some special functions like sounds. For instance, I can go on SF1 and say my channel SC, switch SC, if goes down it should play a track and I can select my tra uh, my track basically I just wanna say acro mode say acro mode okay and now if I put the switch down acro mode acro mode Similarly, channel SC, when the switch is up, I will play a track and say stabilize mode. So, mode. Okay. Acro mode. Stability mode. Good. So, now when I put the switch down, mid. Air mode. Acro mode. Air mode. Stability mode. All right. Now my radio is speaking, which is good. Air mode. Acro mode. Air mode. Stability mode. Awesome. The next thing we need to do is uh, Beta Flight and BL Heli Suite. All right, I connected the quadcopter and I can see uh, it's actually live. I'm just going to hold it down like uh, nice and s very horizontally and calibrate accelerometer. All right, now the motor direction setup. Okay, so front, right will spin counterclockwise, this will spin clockwise, front, left, and then they will follow down here. So I'm gonna run a uh, screen recorder as well so you can see clearly what I'm doing on BL Heli Suite, okay? Make sure to remove the propeller, people. Make sure to remove the propeller. Power on the quadcopter using the battery and make sure it's connected to USB as well. Okay, I'll go and run the BL Heli Suite. And I will connect the ESCs. Check. Okay, all ESCs found. I will disconnect from there and now try the motors. So motor one is here. So motor one is spinning in right direction. Motor four spinning clockwise. Okay. Now, motor 2, this is a spinning wrong, so motor 2 has to be spun in the right direction. Let's try the motor 3, counterclockwise. 
Okay, so motor two, motor two, that is ESC two, we'll come to ESCs, connect, check, and ESC two by select, uh, selected by right clicking, say reverse, motor direction re reverse, and we will write the setup, right is okay. Now, we will go back to the motors and try the ESC two. And now it's spinning in the right direction I wanted. Okay? All right. So our setup is done in BL Halley suit. I don't want to do any more. Now we are going to go to um, Beta Flight. Okay? And set up everything here in the configuration tab. Now, in the configuration tab, I'm not going to do much except that I'm going to give craft name Tyro89. Okay, receiver is SBUS. I will save and reboot. On the ports, they're already set. Okay, VTX is TBS Smart Audio, rest is all set. Power and battery, I'm not touching it. PID tuning, PID tuning, PID tuning, PID tuning. I am not gonna touch anything except that super rate, I'm gonna put to 75, 75. 75 okay i will turn on the radio so let's see okay as you can see everything works i will disconnect the battery because i don't want anything to power on now it's time that i will set the trims so basically all you need to do is make sure the value is 1500 here okay and you will be fine 1500 there matched and you can see the quadcopter stopped except that my channel 4 is still not matched so I'm gonna put it to 1500 now it's a stopped and I have full control I will go to the PID tuning and see how fast my quadcopter is flipping okay that's fast enough all right now receiver is done, let's go to the modes. I will put the arm on aux, that is SF. So to say SF here, it is armed. I always put this double switch. So here is arm, here is arm and quickly I can disarm it. Okay, so just two position switch, long one, and I will say save, all right. Then we go to angle mode. So this is the angle mode, which is stability mode, and it's yellow now, all right? And then I will add uh, air mode, all right? Air mode. Which comes, makes the slider come to the center and say save. Now this is in air mode. And for the rate mode, I will just leave it below. All right, flip over after crash, I don't want, okay? Rest, I will leave as it is. OSD, I just want to keep a very, very simple OSD. So I'm just, I don't know if it has RSSI value or not. So I'll, I'll just keep it here. Main battery voltage, I need it, definitely need it. I'll keep it. Crosshair, I'll keep it. Artificial horizon, I don't need timer. I want to see how long I'm flying, so timer I will keep on top there. Flight mode, I want to see what... I don't want to see flight mode because I can hear from my radio. Craft name, yes, Tyro89, keep it here. Current and MAH draw, uh, I'll keep it over the battery. Okay, so I can see how much current my quadcopter, how much MH is drawing. Anti gravity, we don't need G forces. We, I want to see how many G forces I'm pulling. Okay, that's it. And I will say save. Everything is done here. And I will disconnect and disconnect everything. All right, and now I can test if the motors turn on. Power on the quadcopter okay arm stability mode 
air mode. And the motors started. Now it's time to again test if the motors are spinning in the right direction. Okay, very well. Motors are all spinning in the right direction. My setup is ready. Let's go fly it. <clears throat> all right, let's do the first test right here in my kitchen area. Oh, this is just the 3S and the baby is feisty. Wow, it's really very, very light on its feet. I don't want to punch full throttle because it's just going to go <laughs> crazy and hit the ceiling. <coughs> Flies really nice, man. I can run these circles all day long. <laughs> I can basically fly FPV at home in a stabilized mode. Whoa! No punch please, no punch please. Sweet quadcopter man, sweet. Outside is very, very, very windy and very cold, so I have to wait until the weather is good and then we'll go and rip some FPV with Tyro 89. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button right there. Come on. Don't be shy, just hit it! Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.